one more thing I want to show you. Friction loss, resistance going through the pipes. Okay, let's look at this again. Uh, I can't even remember what we started at, but I just moved the low side fitting just to a fitting just before it enters the compressor. You see that 98 PSI right there? Well, let's move this fitting back to where you're supposed to take the pressure at. See where I'm at? I'm right at the compressor. This is the suction line. So the refrigerant is going in this direction going inside. So we're gonna go back to where we belong right here. So we're 98 PSI right here. Okay, there we go. Take it off right there. And now we're right here. One hundred and two psi, but we're on the same circuit, the same line. The only difference is, is we have this line. We have a ninety degree elbow here, coming up the backside. We have another ninety degree. We have this section of the line. It goes through the valve, goes through the valving, comes here, comes through this middle pipe, drops down the middle pipe, goes into the container right here, the accumulator. Then it comes back out, comes over here, and this is where I was saying. So it's 92 here, no, it's 96 there, it's 102 here. Just pressure changes in the lines as you go distance and around corners. So if I took this pressure all the way back at the evaporator, the air handler, inside the building, 100 feet away, it would be even a higher pressure back there leaving the evaporator. The temperature and the pressure change, it picks up just for the length of the line size of the line makes a difference how many elbows all this stuff makes a difference and it's all math it's all calculated and you're supposed to know about it that's why there's some things you're not supposed to do and on this one it is a extended long line length but he did not provide for the provisions of what should have been done for extended long line length when they installed this and another thing i just found check this out i just found another problem could be would have been a problem but he left it he knows whoever put this in they know they made this mistake they oops and just left it instead of fixing it take a really close look at those threads right here do you notice that's not that's at an angle it's threaded at an angle that's cross threaded that is not correctly on that is not on their straight so I'm taking that off anyway because I'm going to totally redo this and I'm going to get a new fitting. But this was put on cockamamie, a little wonky going on there. So that'll be fixed. I hope he didn't ruin or damage anything inside there. But I'll fix that. And uh, when I take eventually take this all apart, but I got to get off the roof and finish that. At least I got one pound, nine ounces in there, which almost did nothing. All it did was it took the temperature of the line down to 69 degrees or 65 degrees going into the system now. It's down to 65 degrees. And, um, and it took the superheat from 40 down to 35 or 32. I can't remember and I'm way too over magnified. So see you guys later back on this one. I'll come back next. I'm coming back probably next Monday, hopefully. And uh, too much work to do here. See ya.